One of the all-time greats, Lydia Ko for birdie at eight. All pars on the card up until this point. First birdie of the day. Over at the par five ninth where Lydia Ko made eagle yesterday, her third. Uh, known for, for her entire career for her short game prowess, puts it on full display for an easy birdie. Certainly took her time on that. Yeah, it's something that we've seen a little bit over the last couple of years is how much time Lydia does take over putts of that distance. Choking up on it. I expect a three-quarter type swing here. Yeah, to really try and take that spin off of it, as you said, Paige. Pretty much just like that. What a beautiful shot. Left it below the hole. Just tried to sneak away at the end. Good putt. One to win at Lake Merced in a playoff over Minji Lee back in 2018. Won that playoff. And here she is. And this looks like another fairway hit. Speaking of which, Minji Lee did have an albatross just watching in our monitor thinking, wow, she's pretty far down here on this 12th hole. Yeah, she's been a steady 20 yards in front of Ayaka today. This is a third shot for Lydia Ko at the par 3 13. Wow. Bunker off the tee at this par 3. And here's Lydia from behind the 14th with her second. Good position posted up on that left side. And that long bunker shot. Wow. Wow, indeed. We say wow a lot when Lydia's around the green. Has a home here at Lake Nona and spent some time leading up to this event. She did it so beautifully on the 11th hole. Choked up. Look at how far she's choked up on this wedge. Very controlled swing. Ah, misjudged this one a good bit, though. have seen a bit of a changing of the guard on the LPGA Tour with Lily Avu, the young South uh, Southern Californian, number one in the world, and yeah, Lydia trying to get back there at 16. A little bit of a sawed-off driver finish there. Anything in the middle of the green would be a good approach today. Very safe. Yeah, smart play. Center of the green. One birdie so far today on this hole. And that pitch in for par at 13. She's bogey free since late Thursday in round one. Jeremy's ball is the best one, one of the best ones that we've seen in our coverage window today. This with a much higher trajectory. Yeah, more affected by the winds, but very nicely judged distance-wise. Otherwise, just getting solid contact. One hole to play today. Toughest hole on the golf course. Almost looks like the line is inside left there. Should be inside right, if anything. Keeps that putter so low to the ground. Beautiful stroke. And so it is 37 consecutive holes 